Hi, I'm Ainsley with the Coding Clubhouse here with... Martin. From? Moses Engineering in London. So what do you do? Um, so I'm a developer. So what the company does is we make tracking systems and robotics for mostly the broadcast and film industry. But now we're here for with our new kind of product for the VR industry. So what do you have in your hand? So I've got an Oculus Rift VR headset and I've got our add-on tracking system for it. So most of you will probably be familiar with a VR headset. Mm -hmm. Some of you will have had them at home. Um, really good fun. But the problem is it with this thing is when you're playing with it, you have to pretty much stand in front of your TV. You can't really walk around with this on. Um, so this is where our system comes in. So this system is a tracker that will let you walk around pretty much in unlimited sized environments um, as if you're walking around in the real world. Um, and it does this with a small tracking camera that tracks these randomly placed dots on the ceiling and this is where we know where you are. So we know your rotation and you know your position as you walk around. So why did you decide to come up with this instead of just using light towers like the Vive? Um, so the thing is the kind of lighthouse technologies and some of the existing technologies have certain drawbacks. For instance, if you're using something like the lighthouse, um, so the HTC Vive, um, if you're playing in there, you're restricted usually to a three by three meter area. And as soon as you want to play with someone in that space, if they stand in front of you so that you're blocking the view, um, the system kind of has problems tracking them or it has problems tracking you. But with a system like this, because it's looking up at the ceiling, it doesn't matter how many people are around you. The system can still pretty much track you. So how long is this, pro is this product out right now or is it still in the developing stages? So in the broadcast and film industry, um, it's quite mature and it's used by many kind of film and um, broadcast studios worldwide. Um, however, in the VR um, industry, it's still in the early stages. So we're working with key partners um, to kind of mature this product towards the VR industry. Um, so it's been five years in development, but that's in broadcast and film. How has the idea for this product changed over time? Um, so I think it's evolved. I think it started off with, I think initially we had a kind of system that used balls like you have in your mouse. So if you remember the old um, ball and mice, it would have a small ball and little wheels that would kind of figure out where it was. And we had a large version of that for kind of tracking cameras as it moved across the floor. Um, but the problem with that is it drifts. So as you move along, it slowly goes more and more away from where you actually are. So initially, this was a system that would just stay on the camera, looking up all the time, and it would just correct the drift of this kind of big ball mouse system. So if you can imagine a mouse with one of these tacked on, and then it would like stop it from going off. But eventually we got rid of the kind of ball tracking system, and this became something attached to the camera that would just track all the motion without anything else. And where do you hope to see this product go in the next few years? So I think seeing this in other kind of industries such as um, out of home entertainment or in factories you could put this onto robots as they drive around and the robots would know where they are in the space. Or, for instance, in theme parks, if you have experiences like the laser quests where you all like run around and shoot each other, um, I'd like to see this being used in those kind of industrial kind of um, areas. Do you have any advice for young coders? Um, doing is fun. Mm -hmm. Have fun trying out stuff. So. Um, there's lots of, now there's lots of things like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, get stuck in. Um, there's lots of resources around. I learned coding mostly just by making little programs myself and just, and there's lots of resources on the internet. If you're not sure about something, then um, ask around, maybe someone will know the answer. And yeah, get stuck in at a young age and have fun, build things you want to do. Um, I think programming is a great outlet for um, being creative and trying to make things that you want to make. So have fun doing that would be my advice. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, that's all, but um, I think the world 
it's an exciting place for you young coders and um, stay at it and I think that you're going to be able to create some really amazing things. Well, that's all for me. I'll see you next time.